A millionaire leaves his stingy daughter alone in the countryside to teach her a lesson. But when he returned more than a year later, he was shocked by what he saw. Melissa, a young millionaire heiress, was driving her luxury car through the city streets with a smile of expectation on her face. It was a very special day as she was turning 25. Her father, Lohan Zambroni, a magnate in the high-end vegetarian food industry, had called her into his office with the promise of a birthday present. Will it be better than that car he gave me last year? The girl pondered, barely able to contain her excitement. Uh, I can't wait to rub it in my friends' faces. The heiress was the perfect image of a spoiled and petty girl, used to getting everything she wanted at the snap of her fingers. Her arrogant attitude and contempt for the less fortunate were notorious. As she stopped at a light, the young woman became irritated, shouting disdainfully at a candy seller who was briefly blocking her way. Get out of my way, you stinking filth! Screamed Melissa, almost running over the man with her car as soon as the lights opened. She sped through the streets, heading for her father's office, located in the most luxurious building in the city. Not even minding the employees who greeted her arrival, the woman walked past them with arrogance, heading straight for the elevator that would take her to the top floor where her father's office was. Ah, these mediocre people think they can talk to me, she thought as the elevator went up. In her father's office, an elegant and ostentatious place, Melissa arrived all excited. Hi, Dad. I'm here. Where's my present? What is it? What is it? But to her surprise, she was greeted with an unexpected request. Give me your car key, Lohan said, holding out his hand. Confused and intrigued, the young woman thought that perhaps she was going to receive the private jet she had asked for. Will he give me my jet? After all, I can't fly to Europe just in first class, right? The girls always mock me when they only fly private. She wonders, handing the keys to her father, and she waited for his long-awaited present to be revealed. However, contrary to what she expected, the millionaire called his driver and said, Come on, kid. Your present is a long way from here. Curiosity and anticipation overtook Melissa, who wondered what her father was up to. Was it a surprise gift, someplace exotic? A new investment in her name? The possibilities seemed endless to the young woman accustomed to a world of luxury and privilege. As she followed her father and his driver, the heiress couldn't help but feel excited and anxious. She knew that her rich father always found creative ways to surprise her, especially on special occasions like her birthday. I wonder what he has planned this time, she thought, waiting to discover her new present. Melissa, still stunned by the abrupt change of plans, got into the limousine with an expression of extreme happiness. Poor thing, she could never have imagined what was to come. In her mind, she imagined that her father would give her a luxury resort or perhaps a private mansion, an extravagant gift that was just right for her. However, after about three hours on the road, when she got out of the vehicle, she found herself in a completely different scenario. The girl looked around in disbelief. They were in an isolated place, surrounded by nature and forest, with just a simple, worn-out house that seemed to have been forgotten by time. The old walls made of clay gave the place a rustic and modest look. Daddy, what is this place? The heiress asked, her voice a mixture of surprise and displeasure. Come on, let's go in! And Lohan entered the house. The girl, still without a clue of what was happening, followed him. It was a very simple house, dusty, as if no one had lived there for years. She was horrified and had even forgotten about her present. She just wanted to know what they were doing there. It was then that she noticed a familiar suitcase next to the torn couch. What are my things doing here? She asked with a twinge of anxiety. Her father turned around with a serious and determined expression, and then revealed the truth. This is your birthday present, Mel. You've become a grotesque person with a terrible character. Your mother would be ashamed of what you've become. At 25, you act as if you were an heiress with no responsibilities, no desire to work, to make a living, nothing. And you treat people very badly. So this is your new home. The young woman was stunned and let out a cry of horror. What? She exclaimed, her voice shaking with shock and disbelief. Her father explained that she would have to live there, fend for herself, and learn to become a better person. This place will now be your only home. You need to understand the value of things, the value of work and humility. 
I'm not going to leave my inheritance to someone who only thinks of herself and who will spend it all in a month without valuing what your mother and I have worked so hard for, he said, his voice firm and unwavering. Melissa despaired of the seriousness of the situation when she saw that he had grabbed his coat and was already on his way out the door. Until then, she hadn't believed that her father would really leave her there. Daddy, no, you can't leave me here, please. I'll change, I promise. She begged, tears already starting to form in her eyes. The millionaire, however, stood by his decision. Change doesn't come so fast, kid. Some people have to go through hell before they understand the value of heaven. He scolded her before turning and walking back to the limousine. Melissa stood still for a moment, petrified. This can't be happening, he's joking. Was the only thing on her mind. She stood there, watching the car drive away, with a mixture of anger fear, and disbelief. Now she was alone, abandoned in a place she would never have imagined calling home. The shock of reality hit her like a punch in the stomach, and she realized that her life of luxury was over. Melissa found herself isolated in the rustic and uncomfortable house and was overcome with despair. Rummaging through the suitcase that only the millionaire had left for her, she found that there were only a few items of clothing and a sheet. What? That's it? Where are my lotions and my perfumes? My jewelry? Where are they? As darkness began to fall, the reality of her situation started to set in. The spoiled girl, used to the comfort and security of her rich life, felt completely out of place and frightened. Afraid of the unknown, she pushed a heavy piece of furniture to block the wooden door of the house. And how does he think I'm going to eat here? He's coming back, he can't be serious. She talked to herself, still waiting for her father to come back for her. After an hour, he didn't come back, and the young woman had to accept her fate. She went to her room, where a wooden bed with an old mattress and no pillow awaited her. She sat down on the bed in disgust, reflecting on her father's words and on her own life. I didn't do anything wrong. It's not my fault that I was born rich. She sobbed, not recognizing the seriousness of her behavior. Melissa grew up surrounded by luxury and privilege. Since her mother's death when she was just 10 years old, Lohan had done everything for her. He was a hardworking man who built a successful vegan food company in honor of his wife, who was allergic to meat. But his daughter, used to the best, became arrogant, feeling superior to everyone who crossed her path. She constantly said, Lucky I'm rich? Unlucky who's not? What do I have to do with them? She would say, whenever her father reprimanded her selfish behavior. He even tried to give her a job at the company, but she wanted to boss everyone around. When Lohan blocked her credit cards, the spoiled girl went on hunger strike, losing weight dramatically until he gave in and gave her back her cards. But this time, the businessman was determined to teach his daughter a tough lesson. Tired of her disrespectful attitude, he decided to leave her on her own in that simple house far from everything she knew. Now it's time to learn to fend for yourself, Melissa. No more tantrums and arrogance. Were his last words before leaving the farm, hoping this experience would transform her bad attitude. The young woman, alone in the house, couldn't have felt more lost and abandoned. She had never faced such adversity. Would this be her chance to mature and understand the true value of things and hard work? Or would she crumble? What do you think happened? Well, that first night, Melissa braved the cold and hunger in her new rustic home. The poor girl put on all the cold clothes she could find in her suitcase, but still shivered under the only sheet she had. My father left me here to die, she muttered, curled up on that bed in a dirty corner devoid of comfort. Even the toilet paper was missing, and the clutter in the place only exacerbated her already miserable situation. The spoiled girl spent the first day crying, bemoaning her fate, and unable to believe that she was living that nightmare. Her thoughts oscillated between anger and self-pity, unable to find a way out of her bleak situation. However, the hunger that set in on the second day made her take action. She decided to explore her surroundings in search of neighbors or some help. Walking along a path that seemed to lead somewhere, the young woman finally reached a small village a mile away from her house. It was a simple place, 
a typical rural setting, far from the luxurious world she knew. When she entered a local grocery store, Melissa caught everyone's eye. Her appearance and elegant clothing contrasted sharply with the simplicity of the locals, who looked at her with curiosity and strangeness. Who's that? They whispered. Feeling completely out of place, the rich girl began to look around the store and lamented in her mind that she didn't have any money. When she saw a slice of pizza on display, a food she had never tried before because she thought it was poor people's food, she asked if the owner could give her one, as she was starving. Please, sir, I haven't eaten since yesterday, she begged. The reaction of both the man and the curious residents outside the establishment was one of surprise and suspicion. How can a fancy girl have no money? They started asking questions, trying to understand where she came from and why she was there. The owner of the grocery store was a very clever man, and realizing the depth in the young woman's eyes and her desperate situation, he offered her a deal, an earring in exchange for the pizza. What? But they're pearl earrings? She muttered reluctantly. But she had no choice. If she wanted to eat, she would have to give at least one earring. Melissa handed over one of her earrings and, when she took a bite of the pizza, it was as if an explosion of flavors flooded her palate. A slice of pizza has never been so expensive. She thought, as she tore into the food as if her high class was diminishing. However, seeing that he could use her things as a bargaining chip with the other earring, she was able to buy some essential items such as food and toilet paper. Returning home at the end of that day, that spoiled girl, oddly enough, felt something she hadn't expected, a sense of pride. For the first time, she had acquired something with her own effort. This small achievement, although insignificant in the eyes of many, represented a big step for someone who was used to having everything without ever having to ask for it. For the first few days, Melissa felt like a castaway in a strange land, completely at the mercy of circumstances. With her cell phone confiscated and no way of communicating with the outside world, she was forced to adapt to the reality of that rural village. She exchanged her valuables belonging for basic necessities such as cleaning products, getting her hands dirty, and managing to clean the house. When she finished the task, a feeling of accomplishment came over her, something she had never experienced before. That night, she slept in a clean and fragrant house, feeling a strange satisfaction. Well, my father certainly didn't think I could handle it. He'll see. And as the weeks went by, Melissa began to experience a gradual change within herself. The small victories of everyday life, such as exchanging objects for necessary items and getting a job as a clerk in the grocery store for the man who took her earring, began to bring her an unprecedented sense of joy and gratification. Her first salary was a revelation. For the first time, she had bought something with her own effort, and it made her feel truly fulfilled. The young woman, who had previously thought herself superior to others, learned to value human relationships. The villagers, with whom she lived daily, became her only companions and gradually began to break down the barriers of her hardened heart. Six months later, Melissa met a man who had just returned to the community after working as a doctor in another state. He frequented the grocery store every day, and the attraction between the two was immediate. The heiress, who had never had a serious relationship, found him to be a kind and understanding man. Just three months into their relationship, they decided to move in together. She moved in with him and rented out the little house where she lived, starting her own small source of income. The young woman's life continued to take new directions. Four months after moving in with the doctor, she discovered that she was pregnant. The news was greeted with joy and celebration throughout the village. The young woman who once prided herself on being a wealthy heiress had now found happiness in a simple life full of love. And then, one sunny day, a luxury car pulled up in front of her humble mud house. Lohan, the businessman, had come to visit his daughter. Only when he discovered that there was a tenant living in the house that was supposed to belong to his daughter, he was surprised and wanted to know where she lived. The tenant told him the whole story, and the millionaire set off in search of his daughter, anxious and worried about what had happened to her. When the millionaire arrived at his daughter's new home, located in the quiet village where she now lived with the doctor, he could hardly believe his eyes. The moment she opened the door, 
The young woman looked at him with a look of surprise and happiness. Daddy? She exclaimed, overjoyed. Lohan, on the other hand, almost fainted at the sight of his pregnant daughter, an image he could never have imagined. Honey, oh my God, what happened? Lohan stammered, completely stunned. It had been more than a year since he had left his daughter in that little house in the countryside, and he would never have imagined that her life had changed so drastically. During this time, of course, Lohan kept a distant eye on his daughter, periodically sending a security guard to check that she was all right, that she hadn't collapsed, and to report on her condition. The conversation that followed was surprising. Melissa introduced her fiancé, a doctor and the father of her unborn child. With tears in her eyes, she hugged the millionaire and expressed her gratitude. Dad, thank you so much for leaving me here. It was hard at first, but this experience has completely changed my life. I'm so happy with the family we're building now. Lohan, thrilled, even offered to take her back home, but Melissa insisted on staying in the village with her fiancé. The businessman couldn't have been prouder. In recognition of her daughter's transformation and to thank the community that welcomed her, Lohan made a generous donation to the village. His contribution helped renovate the houses and the local road, which in turn attracted more visitors and completely changed the lives of the residents. The village's gratitude for that young woman having appeared in their lives one day was immeasurable. Over time, Lohan found himself very proud of the twin grandchildren who were born and of having a daughter who now visited him frequently. Melissa became a kind and compassionate person, dedicated to her family and the community that adopted her. For that father, the transformation of his spoiled heiress into a responsible and loving woman was the greatest reward he could receive. Father and daughter, now united by an even stronger bond, enjoyed the joy of a reconstituted and happy family. And if you liked this story, I'm sure the next video that pops up on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you in the next heartwarming story.